I'm here in the lovely Driftwood Dance Academy. It's been such a beautiful venue for us to work in. And I'm going to show you an exercise which I'm really surprised we've never filmed before. Um, and it's a combination rectus femoris and quadricep wall stretch. Now in the book, we illustrate this exercise with the feet pointed up the wall. But the way we do it now, and we experiment this, make sure you have plenty of material around the room as well, is we put the ball of the foot on the wall, which you'll be able to see, from this other angle we've got here. Then, this is the starting position like this. I might just make sure I'm very set of that bolster. And to bring on the very beginning version of the stretch, we simply pull our hips away from the wall, and you can vary the angle between working straight forward like this, all the way through to tucking the tail, bringing the hip back to the wall as much as you can, which of course emphasizes the top part of what I said, and then watch, while tucked, I pull myself further away from the wall. The contractions are two, I press the ball of the foot back into the wall, and the second contraction is I drag my knee forward towards you, as you see me here, and both of those contractions, of course, activate different parts of quads, and then I re-tuck my tail, I re squeeze my hips, and I pull myself away from the wall like this. But there are many other ways it can be done as well. <clears throat> and Matt is going to come and show what I personally find to be the most spectacular and effective version, which is the partner version, where I'm going to start in this position down on the floor like this, with my leg open at about 90 degrees. Okay, Matt, hold the board. Now Matt's going to place his weight carefully just underneath my boots, and if you watch what's happening here, I now can move forwards. And this becomes a spectacular hip flexor stretch. And then, I'll do the two contractions. And you can see moment, watch this. I then lift myself up into this sort of position like so. And as you can see, with my hips square and my tail tucked, that's an immensely strong hip flexor stretch. i just work it a bit more. I'm just wriggling around a bit to get exactly the right one. I tuck my tail. I redo the contractions and watch this, I take a breath in and come away from the wall, re-tuck the tail and then slowly press my shoulder back like this. Honestly, it's the most awesome sensation in the quads. Of course, you're getting an easy ride, aren't you? You're not doing anything at all. <laughs> what's, what's great about working in the studio is we have these bars to hang on to. So watch how I can unload, just hop off now and do the other leg. I decided I'll do the other leg anyway. So I'll just swing around like this, ball of the foot back in position, I ease my hips well away from the wall like so, make sure that I'm completely stable. Matt, come on board please. I use Matt's weight to do two things. One, so that I can pull well away from the wall like this, and then two, I lever myself back in the position using my arm strength like this. I then do the two contractions. I'm pressing the ball of the foot into the wall. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm now dragging the folded leg through the floor towards this view here. Three, two, one. Watch, I take a breath in. I go further away from the wall. I re-square, I re-tuck and press myself slowly back Oh, it's an awesome, awesome sensation. I'm thinking of all through psoas and rectus femoris as well. Ah. And ah. that little bit extra. Ah. Great, thanks, man. Try this one. Even if you don't have a partner, it's a fantastic stretch in its own right. But a partner will get you the sense of length from the ribs down to the knee that no other stretch can give you and it will, in time, change the shape of your spine. Your spine will literally become straighter. Try it, your body will love you for it.